Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to a video with some racket news and updates about upcoming rackets such as the Bubble Pure Drive, a little bit uh, on the Wilson Pro staff and the new Blade Serena Williams autograph version and Technifiber new T-Fight line. So a lot of new rackets coming up. Let's start with talking a bit about the Pure Drive. I published a review made by Henrik, my good friend and tennis reviewer from Sweden who writes and does videos from for Tennis Nerd from time to time. He reviewed a new Pure Drive, thought it was pretty much similar to what was there before, but uh, there was an improved comfort in that version, in his opinion. I hope I get my hands on one as well. Uh, it hasn't been that easy to work with Babolat. Head and Wilson, usually they can send me demos uh, for review, but uh, through the Bubble Up distribution, I need to go through the local distributor here, and it's not always easy to get new rackets to Malta and work with local reps. So I'm a little bit in a situation there, and uh, I would love to try uh, all new brands' rackets, but some brands are easier to work with than others. Uh, otherwise, I generally go out and buy them. I'm happy sending back rackets and stuff like that. It's worked out well in the past, but it's not easy when you don't when you can't even get rackets sent to you for reviews and i know a lot of you are can be frustrated with that because reviews can take time uh, so it's something i'm trying to work around and find solutions to uh, we don't have any big retailers here either that you can go and demo rackets from so it leaves me a little bit stranded and uh, locked out especially during covid when uh, the shipping issues persist i've been waiting on some rackets for for 6 weeks uh, so it's a little bit tricky so let's see when I can get a new Pure Drive in my hands and see how it feels like. The review from Hendrik will be up again on September 1st. I had to take it down because Bubble asked me. Still, they don't have any real good solutions on on getting me test frames and stuff like that. So it's a little bit of a, of a situation there. I'm just trying to always be transparent on what's going on. I'm not biased with any brand. I'm not... Uh, going to be dishonest and say a racket is good when it's not. I'm always honest, but also if, if companies are easy to work with, I'm going to say that. And if they're difficult to work with, like in this case, I'm going to say that. So uh, you can expect to get honesty from me at least. And uh, then you can, you know, uh, not agree with my opinion. Uh, it's my personal opinion, of course, but I can assure you some honesty at least. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Pure Drive, if I'm going to find a way to work with Babla or not, uh, or if I have the chance to review it myself at some point. Henrik's review will be back up on September 1st, so you at least get to, to watch that. He's a great reviewer, very knowledgeable, so a great replacement for my reviews. But I would, of course, also like to try this racket. So that's it about Mabalat and uh, the issues I have working with them. Over to Wilson and the new Serena Williams autograph, Blade 102. She has reduced the head size, it worked together with the racket designer Ron Rocky, who has uh, been an integral part of the Wilson racket team for a long time. Uh, so she's gone from the 104 square inches to 102 square inch racket head. Uh, will hopefully be giving her a bit more control, be a bit more maneuverable. Uh, so it's a bl in the blade line. She has debuted the cosmetic, which is uh, black and gold. It's a style she seems to like. She's done used that in the past. Reminds me a little bit of the K blade, which is uh, one of the best blades, uh, the best generations of the Wilson blade. There are no exact specs yet. Uh, the prototype, which I wrote about before, was 304 grams unstrung, 28 inches and 32.6 centimeter balance with a swing weight of 304. So this is not a racket for uh, kind of players who want an easy swinging experience. An extended length racket is going to give you a better reach on the serve and um, the volleys as well, but it's not going to be as easy to maneuver. So that's good to keep in mind. It might work really well for her really flat and uh, heavy style of play, uh, but for most players it might be a little bit demanding. But we'll see. I hope I can get a chance to try this frame at some point. Uh, so definitely lighter and easier to swing than her previous racket. Uh, so far, she hasn't had really great results uh, coming back from the COVID break, but uh, we know that it might be an issue uh, having not played for so long and now being stuck uh, in, a, in a bubble. And uh, we'll see if she does better at the US Open. It will be interesting to follow. Staying with Wilson, uh, there will also be a new Pro Staff line update. Not sure exactly what that will contain. I've seen some cosmetics. I can't really share them because I I want to play ball and get the demo so I can review the rackets in good time. So if the if the companies tell me please don't share until this date, I won't. 
Uh, so um, they've asked me not to do that. It uh, to me looks really, really nice. I'm not sure about what tech is involved, if they will have the feel flex of the blade line or kind of a more softer feel. That would be my guess, but I don't really know what they've done to the layup and what is changed in the Pro Staff lineup. Uh, when I get more information that I can share, I will do that, of course, uh, in the US Open bubble in the Western and Southern Open in New York and the upcoming US Open. We've seen uh, Pro Staff players like Kyle Edmund, uh, Grigor Dimitrov, and Dan Evans, for example, use a blacked out racket. So it's kind of, you know, sending that message that soon they will be playing with updated cosmetics. Perhaps for uh, in the US Open, I'm not 100% sure, but we can expect a new uh, pro staff reveal in September. So really curious about that one if you like this iconic line. Now we move over to Technifiber and the T-Fight RS. Uh, that's been now revealed by Daniil Medvedev, which is their big star, uh, the guy who endorses this line of rackets. Uh, I really like the XTC version, the 305 gram version that I reviewed last year. Uh, so I hope I have big hopes for this update. Uh, the TF40 was also an excellent racket, so Technifiber is on a good path. I think also with the design, since they were bought by Lacoste, I think they really improved uh, the design with the kind of... Um, more white in the in the design that makes them stand out a little bit more from other brands which i think is, is cool so if we look at the specs of the new tectifiber t fight rs line uh, the updated uh, technology is the rs section traditional squared section is now redesigned to have five sides at specific angles for more stability and comfort upon ball impact i'm reading from the brochure and there's yoke connections, which is an improved shape of the yoke connections for a more fluid flexion. Interesting uh, English here. More power, sturdiness and precision. So um, obviously you want to market your frames. So it sounds like it's all good. Not sure how that will affect ball impact, but will be interesting to try. Uh, so three RS models, different weights, 300, 305 and 315 grams. Uh, interestingly enough, the 300 and 315 gram has a 16-19 string pattern, while the Medvedev endorsed 305 has an 18-19 string pattern. They're all 98 square inches, standard length, and has a 22.5 millimeter beam. Very interesting racket and spec, and I'm curious to get my hands on one. Uh, as far as I know, Technifiber has sent a demo to me. I hope it arrives uh, without any delays, but... Uh, during this COVID situation, now it's gotten worse in Malta. I can't really know what's happening with the postal services. So fingers crossed that I can soon get my hands on one and create a review about this new line. They will also introduce a lighter version, a Technifiber T-Fight RSL, where L is for light. So it has these lower weights, 265 at the lowest, 280 and 295. These are 100 square inch rackets. Uh, with a standard length 16 19 string pattern and a 23 millimeter beam so more like a speed uh, from head speed mp style racket uh, quite interesting line of frames there not the cs uh, which was a bit stiff with a 27 millimeter beam this is a thinner beam so should be a bit less stiff and i haven't got any uh, stiffness ratings of any of these new rackets uh, it seems that the manufacturers are not so keen on sharing stiffness ratings. Maybe it creates too much confusion. Maybe it doesn't say everything, which it doesn't. Sometimes a stiffness rating of 64 can be very stiff and a stiffness rating of 70 can feel really comfortable. It all depends on the layup and the materials used uh, to produce the racket. So as you can't stare at RA ratings only to understand whether it's a comfortable racket or not. You need to get more detail behind it for that. So that's the new T-Fight RS and RSL line of rackets. Really curious to try these as well. So there's a lot of things going on now in the racket market. New Pure Drive, new Pro Staff, new T-Fight lines, and a new Blade 102 for Serena. Lots of stuff happening. Uh, we are watching tennis again at the Western and Southern Open. I'm writing about it almost daily at tennisnerd.net. Uh, I'm really following the matches with keen interest uh, because I'm a tennis nerd, of course. And uh, we have the US Open coming up and then we move on to the clay court season with the French Open and stuff. So I'm very happy that tennis is back and I hope that you are too. That's all for this new racket update. I hope you like it. If you do, please click like and subscribe to the channel and please tell your tennis friends about Tennis Nerd. Every little bit helps and is much, much appreciated. If you need a racket consultation, you know where to find one. 
tennisnerd.net, uh, it's on the right side. Just click there, fill in the form, make a small payment, and you will get your consultation within three days. If you need more content, you check out patreon.com slash tennisnerd. And that's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.